high ethic because we cannot pretend that TV is not communicating with the children as well. So you want them to communicate through media, but you want a TV that communicates properly with kids. And is the television always ethic or not? I'm trying to think about how can we encourage, um, encourage quality content for children and discourage harmful content for children. Television can have uh, some kind of bad influence, let's see, but also positive effects. So um, we think that TV should not be deregulated, should have rules to protect children and to empower them. For example, in Sweden, I'm going to talk about the Swedish model, it's completely forbidden to advertise for children if they are not 12 years old. Because we think that we should understand children as citizens and not only as consumers. If you are just trying to sell things to them, if you use the television, if you give the excuse that to make quality, that to make it possible to have channel programs for children, you need to give advertising all the time. So what are we advertising to children? Research has proven that TV are advertising to children. Sugar, fat and salt, like things that unhealthy foods, a lot. And toys, licensed for toys. Disney toys, McDonald's toys. These are the things that our kids are having contact with all the time without any rules. Uh, so we, we do think that it's important to think about this, about regulation of advertising and regulation about TV content. This is one thing. But we also know we cannot be naive and think that just the regulation is enough. We also need to teach kids empower them to deal and to interpret the message that they read and have content through television. So that's why it's all together, being ethic, uh, regulating the TV and empowering kids through education.